Hey guys, good morning. It is Malligator Mom here with my handsome boy, Riot. Um, today's video is gonna be kind of interesting because I'm gonna attempt to show you guys what you can expect from a Belgian Malinois when it comes to the family dynamic, when it comes to being inside the home, um, being around your children, what you can expect from them, you know, energy-wise, behavior-wise, that kind of thing, when you have them inside your home because let's be honest that's where your Malinois is probably spending a majority of their time despite being high drive despite having you know doing um work or sport with them as a hobby and that kind of thing all of that aside they're still spending most of their time inside the home with you so what can you expect um day to day when it comes to having a um dog like this inside the home and be you know, incorporated into that family dynamic. So today's video, I am going to just show you guys um, how my dogs behave in the home, um, how they behave around my children, and what it is you can expect realistically when it comes to the energy and the drive and all that kind of stuff translating into a home environment. So that's what today's video is gonna be. I hope you guys find it helpful and interesting. And um, as always, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications so that you can follow along and make sure that if you have any questions, you drop them in the comments. And so, yeah, Riot is, is ready to get the, get the day going. So let's go ahead and get started. If you have three Belgian Malinois, you will never, ever, and I mean ever, 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 ever sleep in past six o'clock. Let's go then. Sit. So this is what potty time looks like for us. Um, I don't allow my dogs to crowd me at the door. Um, so I just put them in a sit and then I'll open the door and go outside and make sure that there's like no other dogs walking down the sidewalk or cars or anything going on outside. And once I assess the situation, I feel like it's fine for them to come out. Um, then I will give them the word. So um, I can go ahead and open and they're not gonna move. And it doesn't matter what's out here. We've opened the door before and found people walking up with deliveries or the cat running by or whatever. And uh, it doesn't matter. 100%, they're absolutely not gonna move. So I come out, I take a quick look around, everything's fine. They're fine to come out. So I just tell them, yes. And that means they can come out and do their business give them some privacy. So a morning like this morning, when I'm getting ready to go out for a training session, I start by getting all my bags packed, getting everybody watered, getting everybody their breakfast. Um, meanwhile, they actually just get to have a little bit of free time together. Um, at this point, because Storm is young, I'm actually not letting her spend a ton of time um, interacting with the other dogs simply because she enjoys it so much that um, I can't capture her attention when the other two dogs are out. And I need her to learn to see me as her source of fun and interaction. Um, I'm the person that she gets her feedback and, and you know, all of that from. So she does get some time out with um, Riot and Fury here but not as much as these two actually get out to spend with each other since they're older and I don't have to try to build that relationship with them. Um, look how handsome. I can't, I can't even stop. I can't even stop looking at you. You're so handsome as you are. Um, so yeah, so she's somewhere over here. Where is she? Excuse my mess. We, it was Halloween last night, so my house is a disaster, but there she is. There she is, there's all of them. But um, typically in the mornings, you know, before Storm came along, I can have these two, uh, Riot and Fury, out and it was very calm and fine. And we had a routine, Riot would come sit by my feet while I made my coffee and 
drank my coffee and that kind of thing. So they're very um, calm for me in the morning because that's the structure that I've um, demanded from them. Uh, but now that Storm here <laughs> is in the mix, um, our mornings have become a little bit more hectic. So her energy has created kind of a, a whirlwind of energy um, that has spilled over into Riot and Fury as well. And so that's to be expected. And I am trying to cap it because, you know, she is a puppy and I understand that and that's what it's going to be. But, um, you know, I'm setting boundaries now by um, trying to keep the energy in the house at a level that's acceptable. And so as you can see, um, she's calmed down. She's over there. She's being, you know, self-contained. She's, she's stopped running. Um, I had to get on her a little bit because of it. Um, and so now, now it's calmed down. But, um, you know, a minute ago it was running, running, running around here, running, running, running around there, jumping on the couch, jumping down, you know, and so I had to stop what I was doing and go address that behavior. Oh. Are we gonna do this? Hey, Ryan, come here. Um, if you don't do that, you know, from the time that she's this age, then she's going to be, you know, this big and still doing that and having that behavior in the house. So it is trickier when you have two other dogs that you're trying to keep the energy level, um, you know, acceptable in the house. But for now, um, I'm happy with this energy level. I'm going to continue packing my bag and getting ready to go. Okay. Good. a call away you don't have to be afraid you don't have to be afraid to be afraid I'll keep you safe on night and day I'll be where you want to be yes I'll be where you want to be I'll be your rock I'll be your man just like from where it all began you're more than everything you're more than everything to me make me a promise tell me you love me and that you'll never shut me out, out, out. to me you're a goddess baby let me show you
Baby, let me show you what I 